Happy Maple Weekend. Welcome to the Boxler Maple Farm, producing the finest 100% pure maple syrup since 1928. It all starts with our sugar bush that has roughly 11,500 taps. There's an intricate system of small 5 16th tubing around all the maple trees that run into several main lines. Off of the 5 16th tubing, there's a spout that's used to connect the tubing to the tree after a hole's been drilled into the tree using a drill. A plastic or stainless steel spout can be used. These lines provide a suction at the trees to draw the maple sap out of the trees. By using vacuum, you greatly increase the amount of sap you get out of the tree. This vacuum is created by large vacuum pumps that we've placed in the sugar bush. These large vacuum pumps produce 23 to 26 inches of vacuum. The sap then flows to a 6,000 gallon tank where it's collected with a semi to be transported to the sugar house. Once the sap is brought to the sugar house, it's put into a large underground tank. From there, it gets pumped through a reverse osmosis machine, also known as the RO machine, that removes the excess water out of the sap. The sap going into the reverse osmosis machine has about 1.5% to 2% sugar in the sap, and once it's done going through the reverse osmosis machine, the sugar content in the sap increases from 2% to roughly 15%. The reverse osmosis machine works by pumping sap through very tight membranes that separate the sugar sap from the water. The more concentrated sap is then fed into the evaporator. The evaporator boils the rest of the excess water out of the sap, producing maple syrup. Once the sap is flowed through most of the evaporator, it then starts to reach a temperature around 216 to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the gauge indicates this, it shows us that the excess water is out of the sap and is turned into maple syrup. It takes around 40 to 60 gallons of raw sap to make just a gallon of maple syrup, depending on the sugar content in the sap. Once the maple syrup is made, it's pumped through a filter press that uses a grainy powder to filter the syrup. This completes the production process. The maple production season usually only lasts a few weeks depending on the weather. You get the lightest color maple syrup when the weather freezes at night and then warms up above 32 degrees in the morning. The warmer the maple season is and the later in the season it is, the darker the maple syrup gets and the flavor gets even stronger as well. Light maple syrup is used to make maple sugar, candy, cotton candy, etc. Medium and dark colored syrup is great on pancakes, waffles, omelets, ice cream. Extra dark syrup is great for cooking. Forced air evaporators like ours that use a fan blower to force air into the fire can reach temperatures around 600 to 800 degrees. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of your maple weekend. Remember to check us out online at hiddenvalleyadventure.com and also check out our concession stand and sample some delicious treats made from 100% pure maple syrup.